Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we are discussing a watch that launched back in 2016. That is when Mont Blanc launched the Heritage Spirit Orbis Terrarum World Map. It is a long name, but the watch, in fact, is elegantly simple in its portrayal of world time, offering a lot of value for the money with a complication typically associated with brands like Vacheron Constantin, Gégère Lecoultre, and Patek Philippe. This is a watch you can get for Omega money that quite honestly, serves exactly the same purpose with a more serviceable and durable movement and a steel case to match. So, 41 millimeters in diameter, 12.1 millimeters thick, 48.8 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a vintage very heritage-inspired, 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. You can see it's definitely not a vintage watch. No one is going to mistake this for a vintage Patek Philippe 96 World Timer. It's not oversized, though. A lot of watches in the World Time segment tend to get too big for their own good. This one feels just about right for a wrist that's 15 centimeters circumference or larger. And being fairly flat with a sloped bezel, it will slide underneath a tight sleeve. Here's your over the top. Keep in mind, I'm pulling the strap fairly tight. Here's your down the barrel. Taking a look at the strap, we have medium rectangular scale alligator leather in matte black with a monotone stitch. You can see there is a sheer cut side. There's calfskin on the bottom. It is a brand new Mont Blanc factory strap. We have a Mont Blanc branded double deploying clasp, twin trigger release, press both to release. It will not open otherwise. And a feature that's often overlooked on watches that aren't massively expensive, which is this crimping system that actually crimps and locks the strap in inside the buckle so it can't pull out as happens every once in a blue moon on a full deployant clasp. Deployants are supposed to prevent you from dropping the watch, but every once in a while the strap will pull out of the buckle. Now this kind of closure is what you'll find on longer watches that typically cost six figures, so it's fun to see it on a Mont Blanc that costs under 10 grand. All right, rolling back to the case. It has a case with personality. The lugs aren't blended Calatrava style, but nor are they stepped out longa style. They're visually separate, but I wouldn't call them deeply seamed. And the entirety of the case flank is satinated in longitudinal fashion, with the exception of the travel time pusher, which is polished. We have a crown with the Mont Blanc Snow Peak logo, polished on a media blasted base. And then you can see that the bezel has a vertical segment and then a conical profile. Rolling around, we'll take a quick look at the dial. We have a projection showing the world from the North Pole. And then we have 24 reference cities to represent the world's 24 principal time zones. At center, we have Dauphine hands that are half satinated for better contrast. And you can see we actually have a second sapphire that sits over that projection in the middle. So now let's just demonstrate how this works. First, I'm going to set the time. I am in New York. You set your current city or time zone down at the base of the dial at 6 o'clock. So let's say in New York right now, It's going to be 1 a.m. Okay, so it's 1 a.m. Now, let's change my locality. Let's go to visit Mont Blanc in Europe. Now, we're on Paris time. See how it did the math and it moved everything else in sequence. It will always display your local time at center and then also at the base of the dial. Now, the key thing is you read the local hour adjacent to the other cities. So I can see in New York, it's still one in the morning. I can see that in Sydney, it's four in the afternoon. I can see that in Dubai, it is 10 a.m. So you have this shaded semicircle in blue to give you a rough approximation of where it is night. And then you have the silver white for a rough approximation of where it is day. Now, if you look carefully, at the center dial this time, you can see that the land masses actually move as well and that the cities are physically aligned on the projection. It's not a map, it's a projection, but the cities are physically aligned with the land masses and the localities where they are actually located. You can also see that the meridians allow you to align the 
city where you may be, even if it's not the title city, allows you to align your locality with a time zone. You can also see that it's possible to make adjustments that don't involve budging the city. So I just wanted to emphasize that. You can move the hour hand independently and move the reference ring in conjunction or hours and minutes with the reference ring moving in sync. Now turning it all over, we have a Salida SW300, which is based on the ECHA 2892A2. It is in élaboré grade, so you could see Automatic winding with bi-directional action, 42-hour power reserve, 26 pivot joules, although you could see from the dial side that there's no running seconds. Nevertheless, being SW300 based, it does retain the hacking seconds function, and then all this is water resistant down to 30 meters. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of the Mont Blanc Heritage Spirit Orbis Terrarum World Map Projection, but it's called the World Map.